You already sound like him. I'm gonna make you pay for that. That's exactly what Batman would say. The sky is blue, oh, finally been dreaming of this for a while. How are you and Alice doing? We are doing great. Everything is back to normal. Dad? Who is this weird guy? That's my patient, darling. Who doesn't really want to be here because his issues stem from high school? Everyone's issues stem from high school, Dan. Cam Proctor from Big Gold Bell Media. Today we're here with the co-creator, writer, and executive producer, Bill Lawrence from Shrinking Season through season 2 that premieres October 16th only on Apple TV+. Plus. Bill, how's it going today? What's up, man? Nice hat. My, my son's a psychotic Dodgers fan. He'd be all is he? Yeah. Hey, listen, hopefully we, we can pull it through this year. I'm, I'm rooting for him and rooting for us this year. Dude, I'm a Phillies up. guy. We're going, I want to, I want to see it. I want to Phillies dodge I, and I'll see us. This doesn't count as your time. I'm just in. Oh, it. appreciate it. Appreciate it. As long as show shows up, we should be good though. Thank you again. Um, yeah. So, so uh, great talking to you here. Um, Listen, the show has been such a major success in season one. Now the season two is rolling over and the show is all about dealing and coping with pressures of life and, you know, changes of life. How do you deal with some of that in the creative writing process as you went into season two? Oh, you know what, man? The, uh, uh, the same way the characters do in the, in the sense of, uh, look, man, the bummer of what we found out about season one, bummer is that uh, it was kind of a zeitgeisty show because I think everybody is just a couple steps removed from grief, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, whether it's dealing with crap with your parents or your kids or, or, or something happened to someone you care about. Uh, and we weren't ready for that to be so universal. And so, uh, uh, but we still call this show a comedy. And I think we call it a comedy because uh, A, it is a comedy. It's a lot of jokes. But B, uh, uh, the way that we, all the writers and actors and in front of behind the camera get through it, we all life our, laugh our way through this stuff. You know what I mean? And kind of, look, I don't think this show has any, uh, uh, I think TV shows are entertainment. I don't expect them to change the world, but I hope people dig on seeing people kind of smile and laugh their way through the trials and tribulations of everyday life. You know, I know that's how I grin and bear it, especially through press days, man. <laughs> no i feel you i feel you. i'm pretty sure they could be super super long as well but no i definitely think this uh this show definitely depicts that as well as um gives people hope you know and a reason to smile in, in a day as well which i think is amazing um so very cool man but look i, I, I hate to interrupt because uh, i'll add too but yeah sure. people get a sense of optimism from this i, I hope it mm -hmm. never seems too bleak you know what i mean because a really big you know it's i'm a sunny guy by nature and i, I want people to see a light at the end of the tunnel i hope so yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. No, I, I think that's that's a that's an amazing valid point because uh, without hope, I mean, everything seems lost at the end of the day. So I think that's great. Um, so I guess going into the future, right, of this show and just trying to figure out how things are going to go. What is your creative writing process with Brett? Like, how do you guys correlate? You know, each of the jokes like this. You know, yeah, you throw yeah. one at him, he's like, ah, it's not that great. Or you throw one at him, he's like, ah, let's go ahead and change it. No, you know what's cool, man, is that this show has a um, look, Jason Siegel, Brett, and I created the show, but it's got a ridiculously talented writing staff. Luckily, some people I've worked with before, it's on, and a bunch of writers have created their own shows and have amazing voices. But um, Brett, Jason, I always hype up Neil Goldman, who's kind of um, the other head writer on the show. Uh, but if you look, it's one of those shows in the credits have lots of executive producers, and that means lots of people that have done this for a long time. Um, uh, look, we're all annoyed that Brett's so good at so many things. He's a good writer. He's a good comedian. He's really good on the show. It's annoying. Enough already of being talented, dude. I mean, it's like, calm down. But uh, uh, um, now it's such a collaborative show uh, here in terms of best idea wins, best joke wins. And uh, it all works because there's this kind of undercurrent of trust with cast and writing staff and crew. Even Harrison Ford, man, what a gift that we've gotten to a place as writers that we know we can write down almost anything and he'll try it. You know what I mean? It's super yeah. expected that to be part of my career in my fifties is, is writing jokes about your ass clapping and raw dogging for Harrison <laughs> Ford, but it's fun, dude. Yeah. 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 Friends with Benny's. I think that's a hilarious joke that's in there as well. Dookie Hazard as well. I, I loved it. My kids won't understand it, but you know, I, I think our older <laughs> generation will for sure. Um, yeah, I'm not writing for my kids anymore. No, no, of course my not. Kids in city. And my son was like, was this ever on TV? I'm like, yeah, dude, come on. Of course. Didn't show up to people in my garage. Come on. Right. Well, listen, Bill, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Everybody at home, make sure you check out Shrinking Season 2 that premieres October 16th, only on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you again. I wish you the best. Yeah, you too, man. Dodgers, at least to the NLCS, but then I want them to get their asses whooped by the Phillies. Fingers crossed. 
There you go. Same way. Peace. Yeah, man.